Can you briefly introduce yourself? Okay, my name is uh, Asif Ali and I am the program manager at Rainwater within the Rainwater Academy. Mm -hmm. I'm responsible for the uh, conceptualization, the development and the, uh, the running of the Rainwater Academy. Mm -hmm. and you were also instrumental in uh, shaping and, and also putting content to the uh, memorandum of understanding that was signed this morning also? That is correct, yes. Uh, I think perhaps uh, uh, as an organization uh, we are about, uh, we are 110 years old actually, so we have enough uh, intellectual property, know-how and ability to understand what are the strategic global hotspots to touch. And I think in this particular case our, our, our need to uh, collaborate and to create a platform with the, uh, with the, with the UNESCO IG was a very strategic one and so my first meeting with Namania was about <clears throat> two years ago where we saw some opportunity to uh, to combine our strategic vision and the potential uh, uh, tools and know-how and uh, create a better future for our organization and the continent, yes. And what um, struck me this morning is what you said about what our rector, Professor Andras Solozhnaj, has said yes. about the capacities needed in Africa. Yes, a fascinating man indeed, and I was intrigued by many things. Uh, in that particular uh, discussion, which was about two months ago, I think, uh, I kind of understood the context of his message as uh, that we have Millennium Development Goals, of course, MD <coughs> MDGs, and uh, water and sanitation is key, is priority, it's a basic need, but uh, the way he, he statistically articulated the fact that we have to move maybe doubly the speed or many, many times the speed at which we are moving and the kind of resources we need is it, it's of a much higher level, a more committed level, and the time frame also, he contextualized that quite nicely to say that it's not going to be done tomorrow or in the next uh, 10, 15 years, but it's going to take many, many years to get to the point. So that itself gave us as a Rand Water impetus to understand at a larger scale what the world sees or how the globe sees things coming together on our continent. Mm. You know, we always have a picture of how things are, but it, it gave us a perspective when we left and it gave us <clears throat> need to, to, uh, to go at a much hastier pace mm. to try and achieve what we want to achieve. So do you think that the partnership with UNESCO IG for now and also in the near future will, will help, help this forward? Yes, it will. Uh, perhaps one of the uh, stepping stones for us is uh, your programs. You have these master's programs, etc. And uh, we looked into it. Uh, we are also aware that uh, water is the future. And we're saying, let's be thought leaders mm -hmm. in, at a continental level. So in order for us to be thought leaders, your program caters for future leaders in water, as you have demonstrated in different African countries where you have a lot of senior executives, etc., at high level. And we thought, why not bring the context to South Africa? Why not bring the platform to South Africa, mm -hmm. Grand Water and Water Academy, and, and, and propagate that and, and use it as a, as, a, as a homegrown initiative which can organically uh, 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 create better opportunity for us, one secondly, but to strategically look at it and say, Let's do it at home and let's inform our people from a home-based uh, platform that uh, if, we, if we understand better, if we are able to innovate, if we are able to see the bigger picture, I have no doubt that what you guys are doing and with us uniting together, we're going to create a, a formidable force in trying to reach those longer-term strategic uh, needs for the continent. Yeah. Thank, Thank you me. very much. Is that it?